Energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the third week of January. I want to say thank you for being here. Love you, Virgos. Okay, um, I have also Virgo Sun Rising. Hey, um, good week for you guys. It is energy of the tower, and whatever that was blocking you, um, the wheel of fortune is here center of your week which is going to bring you some financial stability okay so this is good for you Virgos um, um, I want to say please like and share these videos this week begins from 14 until the 20th whatever is transpiring and happening for you Virgos it is going to be a very promising week for you Virgos okay so um, let's look at what is transpiring water energy the end of a situation coming in this week which is good um, eight of ones no information no messages you've been waiting um, maybe this was block it could be coming to an end because you have the energy of the magician this week is going to be a good week for you Virgos you have the end um, um the magician and the magician have the energy of the wheel of fortune and that is um, this is the crowning of your week the energy of the magician and this is the central of your week the wheel of fortune so that is good now there's some deception and it has to do with some deception but whatever the deception is is that you're going to overcome it because you're you're going to be winning this battle okay whatever the deception is you're going to be overcoming it because you're going to win in this battle okay so um the weekend you're dealing with the the knight of swords so this could be a family member this knight of swords have got you in some serious situation but you are going to be getting yourself out you virgos okay so let's see the energy of um the dove what is happening um the energy of the wheel of fortune oh my god you virgos you rock you rock <laughs> eight of ones in reverse what is that eight of ones has to do with a victory is coming for you magician heartbreak for some of you virgos um deception uh you're seeing a deceptive situation that has transpired five of swords um your wishes and dreams are coming through you have taken down whosoever and whatever was the situation and your wishes and dreams are coming through and the knight of swords um the knight of swords you're turning your back on the knight of swords which is uh, um a positive energy and the five of pentacle the five of pentacle the five of pentacle the energy of the five of pentacle energy of the five of pentacle um the queen of cups okay um this queen of cups is in some hardship now we have the page coming in um with messages so what I basically want to understand and to find out because we have the energy of the magician and the heartbreak. So what is transpiring is that you Virgos are dealing with a deceptive situation because um, there's a transition that is coming in. Now, if you look, you have the transition of an ending and the Wheel of Fortune is coming in now. You Virgos are going to be very lucky in this week because Wheel of Fortune is coming in twice. Wheel of Fortune is your energy vibration for this week, the central energy, which is going to affect a lot of people. Some lucky breaks is going to be coming in. But you have the energy of the magician with love and a heartbreak. You're going, there's going to be a loss. And I'm sorry, guys, but I want to see what is transpiring with this heartbreak and this loss. Um, and then the heartbreak and the loss coming up with deception and you seeing a deceptive situation that was plain but you have taken down this deceptive situation okay here you are the five of swords you take down this deceptive situation and um you are going to be um happy because um the nine of cups your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true because you saw this deceptive situation that was plain and you took it down now let's see the magician with the the three of swords the magician with the three of swords and you guys are thinking shit i know i'm looking i'm, I'm gonna look and see the end of a burden end of a, a karmatic situation with a child or and with your man 
a resolution is going to be coming through so that is good now because this is serious shit huh? when a magician come with the three of the, the three of sword um that is serious shit is about it fence okay just really some serious things is about to it fence and um, as you look at these two together this is the magician and when you think about the magician you're thinking about you manifesting moving forward moving and here is the three of hearts okay so this together is like uh, really after okay all right so this is what is transpiring now that was what we asked the question about what is this energy of the magician and the three of swords because this is like stab in the back in the heart and the soul and everything and yes it has to do with a karmatic situation um with your ex partner look at the hearts the hearts are all black so what this is saying to you is that whoever these two people are and the child and the father very very horrible people whoever is uh, um, you're dealing with the child and the father not very nice people okay whatever it was it was a karmatic situation some of you the situation is coming from a past lifetime and you came back their heart is as dark as uh, um, even this heart is um, this heart is so red so pink so red and if you look at the heart this is a situation where some of you um, are dealing it's a karmatic situation a wheel of fortune come twice so it's telling you it's dealing with a child and the father and the child and the father um, Wow if it's a child oh my god and if it's a father their heart is not um, they need some healing they need some they need some healing. They need some heart healing. They need healing. They have to be placed in a crystal temple to be healed from whatever. This could be your partner or this could be a family member. Really, cut yourself off from these people. See the cross. The cross is a burden with a child and the father. Um, let it go. Let it go. Nasty, deceptive people. Let it go, people. Let it go. Okay. Um, dishonesty, father and the kid, horrible people. Dishonesty, walk away, walk away. And it is the hardest thing, but it's it's called unconditional love. It's called I accept the situation and I can love you from afar, and that's it. Don't come close to me. Um, it's not one of the most positive energy. Okay, there is a transformation. The Wheel of Fortune is coming up with an organization. There are some invitation that is going to be coming in. Whatever deceptiveness with a friend, you're seeing this. So some of you are going to be finding out that a friend has deceived you. Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true, but there's a lot of jealousy and deception. And offer another offer is going to be coming out and you are going to become the star okay you're going to become the star um, over a situation so whatever the lies and and it's this energy keeps on coming up for a lot of people oh my god I think my battery hold on Sorry, <laughs> that was um, so. You're gonna see um, a situation that um, that play um, very deceptive, and you're seeing the truth about a friend. Very deceptive. Okay, so not to worry, and that people were profiting from you very deceptive situation and I'm going to look to see um, who is this person before we go in the freedom so um, 
We're asking the universe to show us who is this friend. Because you guys are going to be seeing the truth about a friend. Very deceptive person. You're going to be seeing the truth about a friend. Very deceptive person. Four of rods, but you have a strong foundation. Damn! You got a strong foundation. Okay, so, you know, and, and, and that's it. Why I always ask questions, okay? All right. So, look at this. Some of you are going to be dealing with a transition, okay? There's no debt in this week. It's just this transition ending. And whatever you were going through with an organization or that sort of a thing, it's going to get better. The Wheel of Fortune is here, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is here, okay? And this is going to be good. So you're going to be having some luck. Yes, with an organization. You're going to be having some luck with an organization. It's going to be a yes. You're definitely going to be having some luck with an organization, okay? It's a yes. You're going to be having really um, whatever that was happening. Um, here you're seeing that um, some luck with an organization is going to be coming in. And this is um, really going to be positive because what is transpiring is that um, there's the truth of a situation that is coming out okay so you're going to be having some luck with an organization now this is one of the cards that it depends on the position it's in and the situation um i don't like to see it in reverse because um i like fastness and i like information to come true but it's in reverse but yet still this positive energy comes up is that there's a victorious overcome okay so it was um as if there was um and this would come up for people that was being harassed um getting a lot of information and a lot of um um deceptive things that was coming to you it has now come to an end uh, um and some deceptive things that was happening in an organization and they were like kind of harassing you sending you a lot of mails and a lot of stuff and people and now this is good because what is transparent is that you have overcome this and you're going to be receiving a new offer okay so it was as if um some of you were dealing with an organization where you know there was an offer or um, they're constantly sending you information because you took them down for a deceitful thing that they have done and you spoke out about them and you took them down and somebody was there basically sending you messages and 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 then what you realize is that someone um, you overcome this because it's as if you ignore them totally and they finally stop and you're victoriously come over the situation and you're going to be get, receiving a new invitation because people are watching and sewing exactly what has happened people are watching and sewing exactly what has happened and this is what I say to people and I always say this is that um, the government really watches you and it is good because then they can see who is lying and who is speaking the truth and you know they protect you basically so I don't mind if the government is on my telephone and they're on my computer I don't mind it but when other people are on it who are not supposed to be doing what they're they're doing that is when I like get off my thing because you're not paying my bill but once the government is on your computer and um, and on your telephone is that they are um, basically protecting you um, not only knowing this okay all right let's go and see um, what is happening now we have the seven of swords and each and every one knows about deceptiveness okay so the seven of swords is a friend or someone that is coming in that is very very deceptive um but it's as if this deceptiveness and you're seeing it because the two of swords is in reverse so you're seeing a deceptive play with a friend okay you're really seeing a deceptive play with a friend and you're saying okay and you know when people do these things <laughs> when people do this deceptive play um not to worry because you have a strong foundation so you have no no need to worry and uh, uh, no need to worry now some of you are dealing with 
um, a struggle that you have been going through and you finally overcome the struggle you finally win um, the nine of cups energy is here which is good but a lot of jealousy is here and some of you um, be careful there's a woman that is here and she's very jealous of you and what you have accomplished so be careful there's a lot of jealousy that is coming to you guys so be careful of what is happening because there's a lot of jealousy here is the energy of jealousy now we're looking at the weekend on on Saturday um, there's an offer that is going to be coming in number two is going to be playing a significant role to a lot of you guys so it's all about the intuition in this week number two is going to play and it's all about working together to bring balance okay so and offer the two of rods whoever this knight of swords is and whoever this person is they're getting off their clubs um that that's what I'm getting is meaning they're 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 crazy they need to be, they need some help this knight of swords this knight of swords could be a family member or someone that you have been dealing with and they're coming at you but don't take the offer that they are about to give to you don't take the offer let it go turn your back don't take the offer don't deal with this person this person is totally off their knuckles okay there is nothing in here it's gone it's empty um, this person is crazy it's crazy as yes. okay <laughs> crazy eyes um, orange is the new black well this person is like crazy eyes okay five of Pentacles is there with the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups have some real regrets this Queen of Cups whether she has has some regrets and you are going to be very very successful coming out of the situation the Queen of Cups whoever this person is it could be the mother-in-law or the sister-in-law whoever this person is she has some regrets about what has transpired and you are going to be coming out very very successful okay you're going to be coming out very successful so let's see what are the messages sir I choose to learn through love so in this week you're going to be choosing to learn through love whatever is transpiring whatever is happening you are going to be choosing to learn through love okay and the connection is going to be whatever deceptiveness whatever that was happening it's going to end namaste love you guys